Hello and welcome. This is Chandni Nedani and you are watching It's Tomorrow News. Tropical storm Nestor leaves path of destruction in Florida. A string of tornadoes, some with winds of 120 miles per hour, uprooted trees, overturned vehicles and ripped off roofs. Tropical storm Nestor spawned a string of tornadoes that damaged homes, uprooted trees and overturned vehicles as it moved inland over the Florida panhandle in U.S. from the Gulf of Mexico. Late on Friday and early on Saturday, officials said a tornado touched down near Semne Hall, Fla about 15 miles west of St. Petersburg, around 9.20 p.m. on Friday, the National Weather Service said. A mobile home park was damaged and no injuries were reported, it said. Another tornado with winds up to 120 miles per hour touched down in Hillsborough County, which includes Tampa, around 11.30 p.m. on Friday and crossed into neighboring Pock County, where it damaged at least 50 homes and businesses, the weather service said. The tornado overturned an 18-wheel vehicle onto a sport utility vehicle. The occupants of both vehicles escaped injury, the Tampa Bay Times reported. It also caused severe damage to a middle school, prompting administrators to cancel classes for Monday and Tuesday. A third tornado with winds of nearly 100 miles per hour struck Lee County in western Florida on Saturday morning, damaging at least a dozen homes. The Cape Coral Fire Department said on Facebook, Facebook that there were no reported injuries. Photos and videos on social media showed a roof torn off a middle school, fallen power lines and vehicles damaged by uprooted trees. Damage estimates were not available on Saturday. The National Hurricane Center said the storm had been downgraded to a post-tropical cyclone. Still, forecasters warned of life-threatening storm surges of up to four feet along the Florida Gulf Coast and strong winds, tornadoes and isolated flash flooding across the southeastern United States. The storm left some roads flooded and officials said it was expected to produce two to four inches of rain this weekend across the southeastern United States with isolated amounts of up to eight inches. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Chani Nebnani. For more weather updates, do like, share and subscribe our channel.